Okay, today is Wednesday, January 6th. Uh, lesson for the Let Threes is Unit 3, Chapter 2, Lesson 3, Portfolios and Interviews. Uh, one of the outcomes of this lesson, uh, you will need to do a resume and start building your portfolio. You're going to need it for graduation next year anyway. Uh, so it's actually a great exercise. It'll hopefully get you ahead of the game. Uh, once you do the resume, you should be able to use the other classes. I think you'll have to do one in your English class and maybe uh, some other materials. Um, that you'll need to do for maybe not that class, but some of you others, the stuff you'll be doing here anyway. So, okay. Uh, you do need to get in the textbook, read pages 99 to 115 of the cadet text. And I do have the updated uh, textbook in your portfolio, or I'm sorry, in your, your files folder now under less materials. So if you go to Teams, go to Files, Class Materials, maybe. Yeah, there it is. Unit 3 text, it, it's all in there, the updated version. So. Okay, uh, let's get back to the actual lesson. Um, so the first thing you need to do is think about what skills you have uh, to, to help you achieve your career goals. Uh, last, you know, we've previously done the, the little bit of career exploration, figure out what field you want to get into, um, and what's all what is involved in that. Uh, what are the opportunities for growth? What are the um, you know, it goes back to the question, what, what's the difference between a job and a career? A job is what you might be doing now, uh, working at um, Red Lobster or whatever as a cook or server, um, or busting tables, waitress, whatever. Um, you know, that would be a job. Uh, and that's a, it's a means to an end, helps you achieve some other things. Uh, but what is the difference between a job and a career? A career is something you clearly identify with something that you, there's opportunities for advancement or growth in, like you're moving into, into management positions or uh, where you're a shift supervisor. There's a, a you know, whole career is, again, so gives you um, opportunities for growth and advancement and uh, fulfillment from a personal standpoint uh, to, to make it to make it worth your while. It's not just about the paycheck at the end of the day. Uh, although that does help, obviously. Okay. Central question, something you put into your portfolio, uh, is to, to answer the question, how can a portfolio help your career development? Uh, just write some quick questions, answers, think about that. Okay. Um, so, what is another name for a file that contains an organized collection of your work based on your personality, goals, and aspirations? That is a career development portfolio. Uh, it also ties in with you know a, a segment of, of your cadet portfolio. Your career development portfolio is what you're actually going to need next year for graduation. Uh, that is a graduation requirement. Okay, student learning plan. Uh, that is in there. It's also in the lesson materials for you. Um, that will be posted. Uh, learning objectives. Again, you've seen this a million times. So a lot of these, uh, it's specific to this lesson, uh, but the format you recognize. Uh, keywords. Uh, you're going to need to understand some of those. You may already have an idea what they are. You might see them on the quiz. Hint, hint. Okay. Um, you should have your success profile, your personal skills map from previous years. Uh, I'll post another one in here if you want to redo that, see if what has changed, give you an opportunity to do that. Uh, don't think we did it for your class already this year. We did it for let ones and let twos. Uh, so that, again, I'll put that in there for you guys to take a look at. Again, just see what has changed since last year. Okay. Bubble map. Uh, think about the skills and abilities you currently have that supports your future career goal. So in the center one, put whatever that career goal is. Maybe um, you want to go into the, the health sector, you know, or health sciences, for example. Um, so what skills do you already have that would set you up for that? Or maybe it's, um, uh, maybe you want to go into public safety uh, and you're already volunteering at the, the local fire department or something, something like that. Uh, there's different things you can go that we fill into to that. So go ahead and do that as a little exercise just to get you thinking about it and pause the video and you can come back to that. Okay. <clears throat> Think about how cadet portfolios can be used to for career goals and personal development. You know, that, that personal skills map is a gauge of yourself and part of that self-awareness thing. Um, same with the, the winning colors that help you understand who you are and therefore what do you want to become. Um, if you are a red adventurer type, uh, 
uh, that may lead you towards specific career fields. Uh, for example, you may not want to be an accountant that's going to be sitting behind a computer screen and crunching numbers all day, every day. You know, some people may enjoy doing that and, and enjoy the sense of, of accomplishment and, and filling things out and, and making things match, making things line up. Um, but for the red adventure type, that's probably not going to be your thing. Uh, you're going to be doing, want to be outdoors. Maybe you want to go into law enforcement. Maybe you want to be a park ranger. Um, you know, there, there's lots of other opportunities. Maybe you want to be a underwater welder. Uh, that, that, you know, again, something that matches your personality. So even so back to the basics of our winning colors, that helps define who you and what you are. Therefore, your career goals. Okay. Take a look at cadet portfolios. Uh, I know we're not in the classroom right now, so you guys know what it has looked like in the past, uh, and we will have to get those updated once we get back in there. Uh, take a look at what components support a career portfolio and just make copies, you know, and, and to do that. Okay. Um, we can't do the poll. There is a series of questions, a checklist that you, you would be able to evaluate each other's portfolios, your cadet portfolios, see what's there, what's not, what is supportive, what needs to be better developed, um, what's not very clear, uh, things like that. So I uh, can't do that right now. Just imagine if we would, then we again, we will try to do that when we get back in session. Okay, true or false? A career development portfolio is a document that contains a student's achievement over time and provides an in-depth picture of the student's skills and competencies, a means to reflect on areas for life development, on the value of education, on future lifestyle and career choices. Obviously, that is true. Okay, many reasons for developing a portfolio. Which one is not true? Yeah, okay. Think about uh, how you can strengthen your own portfolio. Uh, many of you have had recent experiences that are different than what they've been in the past. You use that to, to provide additional detail or broaden uh, and get a better, broader picture of who you are, what you've done. Okay. Uh, exercise one, uh, strengthen your portfolio. So, you know, you go to the lesson, you get these materials already posted for you. And pull it up, see what it looks like. Uh, you can fill it out right there. You know, it has a whole series of questions. That'll be one assignment for you, exercise one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, then you can put that into your Smart Cadet portfolio, Smart Cadet portal. Uh, one of you, I still need your information because you don't have your Smart Cadet account yet uh, in Portal. So you owe me some information because if you look back in your chat messages way back, uh, I've requested two or three times now some information from you. Okay. Anyway, reflection. Take a look at that. You know, what's what's missing in your cadet portfolio? Start thinking about a resume. I will post a resume. In fact, we'll talk about this piece tomorrow. Um, let you see my resume is an example, uh, but again, I've got the advantage of having done a full career in the military, so I got a lot of things in there, but I did have to write a resume for this job teaching in, in JRTC. So you think about how I may have tailored certain things uh, to make it appropriate to this, because uh, a lot of my military experience, um, there's lots of it, portions of it that, that does not, is not what, uh, what educators are looking for. Okay, tips for a good resume. Uh, I'll, I'll put that on there. Again, the exercise tool, they'll be in there for you to do. Uh, the end result, I need to see a resume from each of you. Uh, and then you're gonna have you, have you review each other's resumes. Okay. A couple quick questions. Which following steps would you follow in writing a resume? Um, so definitely use active verbs, uh, action is the focus here. Um, numbers, uh, you, you should use numbers because it should be quantifiable, you know, the types of things that you've done. Um, and it is definitely okay to mention past employers. It gives them an idea of what you've, what you've done. Um, will they be references or not? Uh, that maybe, maybe not. Try not to leave on a bad footing with, with any previous employer. <clears throat> okay, we can talk about tactfulness future date or maybe tomorrow if you have some chat questions. Okay. How long should your resume be? Uh, one sheet should be good enough. Okay. Um, so 
again, you don't want to overwhelm them, but have enough information that if they have additional questions from that, then that, that can be asked. Okay. Think about what you'll include in it. And uh, there is a checklist uh, for the resume criteria. That's where I'll be using to grade from. So I'm not going to put it up here. It, it will be in your folder, though, for you to take a look at um, to use that to do your resume. Okay. Um, job interview. Uh, we're supposed to practice job interviews. Uh, in JRTC, we have that in the form of a promotion board. Uh, so until we get back in session, we won't be able to do that. So put that on the back burner. Um, I will have each of you, as since you, you are juniors, I'll, I'll have each of you do a, you'll, you'll have to do a promotion board once we're back in session at some point. And even if you're doing online stuff, you're going to have to come in and we'll figure out a safe way to do that um, in an open environment uh, for you to do your, <coughs> effectively your job interview for next year. Okay. Uh, there's some additional information on the, from the reading on the interview process. That, and then a few questions here. You know, make sure you're dressing properly for the job interview. Uh, it just doesn't hurt to ask. You know, what, what depends on what job are you applying for? Uh, what's the work environment going to be? Um, you know, <coughs> you know, find out what it is that they are expecting. Okay, how do you present yourself? How do you prepare yourself? Uh, expect you know, do do some. Uh, Expectation management, what type of questions are they going to ask? Uh, what is the job you're applying for? That's a pretty good indicator. Um, if you're applying to be um, a waiter or a waitress, for example, uh, they're going to ask you, how do you interact with people? You know, they're going to your background with others. And if you say, ah, I hate people, people suck, they, they might not hire you. You may not be what they're looking for. Okay. Showcase your portfolio. Uh, do do the mock interview again. We're going to do the um, promotion boards here towards the end of the year, so we'll, we'll get a chance to do that. Get that stuff uploaded in the Smart Cadet portal, and uh, make sure you have that because you're going to be doing scholarship applications next year. Uh, whether you're going to college, whether you're doing any sort of trade school, um, or simply you know there's other scholarships that we can just get some money just for whatever. But you have to give them a reason to present that to you. So it's how you sell yourself, uh, how you portray yourself that will help bring that about. Okay, performance assessment task. And then there's several questions. What is the department that handles hiring benefits and other issues concerning employees? Uh, that is the human resources department. Uh, my daughter had to deal with that recently um, with her job at Pitt with the human resources department, uh, and she did end up transferring jobs. So they're the ones that help facilitate all that. Uh, let's see, general field in which the company provides a product or service. That is an industry sector. A brief statement on your resume that describes the type of position you are seeking. That'd be a job objective. Meeting people and making contacts and exchanging information with individuals, groups, or organizations. That is called network. Does help to get to know folks because you find out what opportunities are out there, find out the type of people that you'd be working with. Uh, you may want to do a particular field, but maybe not that particular location just because of the people involved. Okay. Portfolio uh, a file or document that contains a student's achievement or achievements over time and provides an in depth look at the student's skills and competence. Okay. And resume is a short account of one's career path and qualifications. That is it for this. I'll have all that stuff posted for the additional materials. The expectations that you have, um, a resume, that's what we're going to work on tomorrow. Uh, have that done by Friday as well as then have the quiz. Okay. If you have any questions, shoot me a note on chat, and that will end the, uh, the lesson for today.